talking about vibration membranes, um, in the old Terillium putter, we had white dots in the back. And my goal was to inject some rubber or something in the back of that putter. So I was working on my car and finding that the exhaust system hung from rubber O-rings. Because when you bolt the exhaust system up to the car, it vibrates the car. So rubber creates this vibration dampening. So I had worked with many chemical companies to create glues and urethanes. So I'm watching golf on a Sunday. My daughter is about four years old, came up with this idea. I went to my local hardware store. They had nine different silicones. So I bought every silicone, went to my garage, which I have mills and buffing and grinding. It's my think tank. I uh, took the nine silicones, I milled into a piece of steel, nine holes, and I marked A, I stamped, stamp, stamp, and on the silicone I put A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I squeezed and squeegeed, squeezed and put it behind. Next day I came out, what I was looking for was a rubberized deal that you could stick a T in, so the pro and the pro shop could say it's rubberized, feel it with a T, but you didn't puncture or pop this. It would just pop, go in and come out. There's 32 dots in the back for the age when I designed that. People called it the domino putter. But my daughter and myself went to the local hardware store trying to use different materials for a purpose which would make the putter feel softer. And I think it worked.